Hey guys, Luke here, and for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Kevin Proctor incident. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to play it right now. Please, Fox Sports, don't flag my video, but here is the clip. Okay, Sean? Sean. Hey, Sean. Sean. Kevin, you need to go that way. Okay. Oh, this oh, is oh, a oh, sensation. Oh. Wait, Sean. Sean, can you show me? It's Proctor. Thing? So as you can see, there is a bit of a bite, well, at least allegations of a bite. So Kevin Proctor uh, has been tackled by the shark, Sean Johnson in particular. Sean Johnson's hand kind of goes over his mouth and a bite occurs. That's what Sean Johnson is saying. Kevin Proctor denies it. Uh, and I believe he probably will uh, get suspended, I would say. Now, there's been a lot of controversy about this. And not in the sense of uh, like previous bites where it was, oh, well, he's, he's bit in, but how long is he going to be out? This time, former players and media and stuff, they're all debating on whether the bite even happened, which is just, it's very confusing to me, because you saw the footage, I think everyone can kind of see it. some sort of bite did occur. Now, whether it was intentional or not, it's a whole different story, but that's not what the media uh, or what the former players are trying to say. I've seen Paul Gallen and uh, a few of the other guys get on TV and say, yeah, no, there was no bite. Um, I think Mal Meninga came out and said Kevin Proctor was fighting for his life, had his uh, arm wrapped around his neck. Like, you can clearly see, like, this is what confuses me about this. This isn't like the 80s. We've got, like, clear footage. We've got multiple angles. We can clearly see teeth go in. Now, you can see, like, the mouth guard is there. Teeth do happen. There's bite marks. Uh, Sean Johnson also reacts accordingly to someone who just got bit. If you bite, you're obviously going to, like, pull away and maybe squirm a bit, uh, which is what Sean Johnson did. It wasn't like a, oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. My arm hurts. It was like he didn't even see it. It happened. And look, what, what I'm going to say is, I think the bite did happen, but this isn't like a James Graham situation where, or even like Brad Moore and a few others, where, you know, it's been there and they've just bit. Like, this one is a different situation because I feel like they did it intentionally. I feel like Kevin Proctor hasn't done it intentionally. At least he hasn't set out to go, you know, oh shit, the arm's there, I'm going to bite it. I feel like it might have just happened in the middle of, uh, you know, sort of squirming to get up, to get the play of the ball, get away. And Sean Johnson has placed his arm in that position right near his mouth. So things happen. I mean, there's been plenty of times. I'm, I'm sure everyone here, you know, has, I don't know, we have control of our mouth, but we also don't. Like, I've bit my tongue and that sort of stuff. I'm sure you guys have. I've also accidentally, uh, you know, elbowed someone or punched someone or something like that. Things happen. Accidents do happen. You're not intentionally trying to hurt someone all the time. And I believe Kevin Proctor is in a very similar situation where Sean Johnson's arm is just there. And then, like I said, he sort of squirms a bit and then maybe like bit down like a little bit. Uh, you know, when you're trying to do something, when you're aggressive, go lift a weight or something. You're going to like grit your teeth a bit. Maybe that sort of happened. I don't think Kevin Proctor was like, oh, here's an arm. I'm going to bite on it. I don't think this was like James Graham with Billy Slater where James Graham went out of his way, went after the ear and bit him. Like, this is just a sort of like an accident that's happened. Even like the Bill Zillman one um, bit his arm. Like, there's a lot of incidents of biting the arm where it looks like they've actually chomped down in it. I feel like Sean Johnson's mouth, uh, arm was already in Proctor's mouth. And then as it's happened, he's kind of bit him. Now, yeah, like I said, the, the whole debate, I think Laurie Daly, Paul Gallen, a few of them have come out and said, oh, it didn't happen. And to me, like I said earlier, it's just confusing me because we've got footage of it. It definitely did happen. It's just the intent of it. I believe there was no intention. And I feel like that's what the rule debate was. And that's why I hate when these players stuff get on TV and they talk like it's fact um, rather than an opinion. And, you know, anyone questions them, well, they're a former player, well, they got to know. But it's like, we've clearly got footage of it. All you're doing is making yourself look stupid. Like, it, there clearly was a bite. There's bite marks. Um, it happened, but like I said, it's the intent. So if they were talking about, oh, I don't think he intentionally did it, that's a whole different story, and that's what they should be talking about as to the suspension sort of thing. So I've seen some people come out and say, you know, well, James Graham got 12 weeks, well, Proctor should get more. I totally disagree. I feel like it's totally different. Every swinging arm's different. It's, you know, it's case by case. Um, you know, shoulder charge is case by case as well. So biting should also be case by case. Tripping as well. Uh, you know, some are going to be worse than others, obviously. And I feel like this one, in the great scheme of things, the bite doesn't look that bad. Sean Johnson didn't even want the penalty on the field as Wayne Graham, who uh, sort of went up to the ref and said he's done it. Sean Johnson then said, you know, I don't want the penalty. Doesn't want to get involved into the judiciary. Kevin Proctor's come out and denied it as well. So. Look, I wouldn't even be surprised if Kevin Proctor gets off totally. I don't think he should get off totally because if you don't suspend him, I feel like it opens a can of worms in the sense that, well, you know, if they don't suspend him because there's no intent, well, teams are obviously going to try and, you know, exploit the rules. They're always trying to exploit the rules. We're trying to exploit the wrestle and that sort of stuff. So 
you know, if a team just all of a sudden happens to put an arm in a mouth, well, maybe just slip in a little bite. I mean, you can just use the same defense as Proctor did. We've seen it happen in the past. As soon as one person gets away with it, other teams will use that same defense and go, oh, well, X and X got off at, uh, at, at the Roosters. They got off, so we should it too. And it does happen a lot of time, and it does work. Um, so I think they need to crack down on it for sure. But this whole thing of Kevin Proctor being a blighter and all that sort of stuff, I, I don't buy it. Um, I think it's just an accident. Um, accidents do happen, like I've said. I, I feel like I'm sort of regurgitating the same shit at the moment. But yeah, I don't think Kevin Proctor did it. My only problem as well with the media is I feel like they're letting the fact that Kevin Proctor is a pretty clean skin in the grand scheme of football things, uh, in terms of getting in trouble and doing dodgy stuff. Yes, he's come from the Melbourne um, sort of system, but there's no real things of him doing, you know, chicken wing tackles and all that sort of stuff. As far as I can recall, seems like a pretty likable person. So I feel like the media is kind of looking at that. But at the same time, like, just because they're a good bloke off the field doesn't mean they do some grubby shit on the field. I mean, just because he's not eye gouging people doesn't mean there's little niggling things here and there. Look, they're playing a, a contact sport. Things are going to happen. Uh, maybe heat of the moment. You know, people are going to bite when they normally wouldn't. I mean, James Graham seems like a pretty... Like, off the field, you look at him, you say he's a pretty pretty standard um, standard sort of good dude. And then he got on the field and he clearly went for Billy Slater and bit his bloody ear and has done some other sort of weird shit too. But, you know, they can still be a good person off the field and on the field be a bit of a grub too. I think most of the time that's how it's going to be. Uh, now, by no means is Kevin Proctor a grub, but I feel like... Uh, there probably will be a lot of talk, oh, well, Kevin Proctor's a good bloke, he would never come out and he would never bite someone. And it's like, well, you don't know that. You, you really don't know that. You don't know that until it happens. Um, and obviously, it has happened. It has happened. I don't think there's any denying a bite, a bite does happen. Whether it's a super hard bite, different story. But the bite did happen. And I want you guys in the comment section below, I want to see what you guys think. Do you think a bite did happen? I personally do. I feel pretty strongly about it. Let me know whether you do, uh, guys do as well or whether you think it was intentional or not. And also, how long do you think it should be suspended? For me, I feel like maybe, I don't know, three or four weeks suspension would be sufficient. Maybe even less. I, I seriously can't, I can't figure it, like, I'm not figure it out, but I can't see it being like a 12-week suspension or anything like that. Just if James Graham is a 12-week suspension, you think that's kind of the worst of the worst, considering he went for a person's ear, wasn't even in a tackle or something, he was in a bit of a brawl. Um, I'd say 12 weeks, well, if Kevin Proctor, you compare them to, compare the two, Kevin Proctor should probably get two or three weeks. But I feel like guys like Brad Moran and all that sort of stuff, I think they got seven weeks, so I don't think they're as bad as that. So yeah, maybe three or four weeks is probably probably on the money there. But yeah, I wouldn't even be surprised if there's no suspension at all. And anyway, guys, leave in the comment section below. Like I said, what are your thoughts on this whole Kevin Proctor situation? Do you care? Do you not care? I don't know. Anyways, uh, while you're at it as well, you may as well give a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Also, make sure to turn on the notification bell. I've been posting pretty regularly, uh, all things considering uh, the last, I don't know, couple of months. So I feel like I'm, I'm going strong on YouTube at the moment. So click the notification bell. It'll let you uh, be notified when I upload a video so you can watch it straight away. Also, while you're at it, leave a like. Uh, follow me on social media as well. It's on the screen right now, Mr. Luke on YT. It's also Mr. Luke for Facebook as well. Look, I, tr I don't post that much, but I've been trying my best. Uh, bear with me, guys. Social media is not really my thing in terms of uh, using the YouTube stuff. So, I don't know. I have to get better at that. But, uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say for this video. That's all I'm going to say for this matter. Kevin Proctor, I think he did buy it, but it wasn't that bad. Anyway, guys, uh, I'll see you in the next video. See yous.